right boys what's going on another cold really cold day we got um, the PCV the valve out from this car guys it is right here it is the biggest pain in the butt PCV valve to remove essentially there's two ground wires right here that are strapped on I moved those out of the way and I had to pull a tab away so I can fit 11 16th socket on and we took off the PCV valve what I'm gonna be doing right now okay well before I explain that this car it's always the oil is always smelling like gasoline okay and we do have fuel trims that are taking away fuel meaning it's running rich and that could be one culprit of the fuel trims but it's running a stock tune or it was until I started messing around with it on the Honda but another thing we have to really look into is this PCV valve make sure this is cr uh, venting the crankcase pressure back into the intake manifold because if it is not that gasoline and unburned fumes actually stay contaminated in the engine oil this car just about has 100,000 miles approaching I've never changed the PCV valve what I did right now I'm, I'm, I took it out I'm gonna start the car and just check if there's vacuum on the PCV valve here um, for the turbo build we definitely will for the turbo build guys we definitely will have to probably run some kind of oil catch can setup or vent the PCV valve to atmosphere and cap off the intake manifold so boost pressure doesn't go back into the crankcase it's a little confusing with this whole vacuum and pressure and stuff but that's my understanding so let's start the car let's check for pressure So there definitely is vacuum right now. It, the PCV valve is working. You can see it's suctioning. It's actually open right now. Yeah. So it is working. There is high vacuum at idle. But the problem is the PCV valve works great. All right, so this is the problem, guys. Let me stop walking here so you guys can hear me. The problem is the PCV valve works great under idle, but under high revving, it's actually not vacuuming out the vacuum from the engine. And under boost, which again, this line is connected to the intake manifold right over there. Under boost, that boost is coming through that line right here, forcing, um, forcing air into the crankcase. So, now that leads to many problems and you see a lot of these engine builds have vented valve covers and oil catch cans and whatnot we're definitely gonna have to figure something out for this so what i'm thinking i think i'm just gonna buy a fitting that matches this if you guys know what the fitting size is right here uh, let me know it's just gonna be a straight through barb fitting and i'm just gonna vent that into the atmosphere maybe pointing down under the car that is if I don't get an oil catch can. I might get an oil catch can. We might have to get a lot of lines. That would be just the simplest trick. And if we do vent, if we do vent the vacuum out, that line right there, we do have to cap it off. So we have to put a fitting that caps this off. That way we don't lose, we don't have a vacuum leak and we don't lose boost pressure. So I'm glad my PCV valve works, guys. That's a good thing to check. But again, we're gonna have to mess around with this to make this work for boost, make it reliable, make sure everything's running properly. We're still trying to figure this damn air fuel ratios out, trying to tune it on the stock settings for the most part. And that's it, that's the part of tuning. So I'll see you guys later and that's about it, all right? All right, have a good one. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to for you, come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too, I'ma put a ride on ya, get from California, trying to make it a life, a school that never taught 